And now it's time. 20,000 watts of raw laser power versus three inches of solid black steel. Hit play. How far can a machine with 20,000 watts of raw laser power really go? Let's find out. Today, we're going to find out exactly what the Forza Hercules is capable of with its massive 20,000 watts of power. We're going to put it to the test with the most extreme thicknesses. We're going to try to cut up to three inches. The real challenge is huge, three inches of black steel. Today, we're here with engineer Jonathan Aguilar, who will be in charge of setting up this machine and finding the ideal parameters for each of the cuts. So today, Jonathan, which thicknesses are we going to start with? And which ones will we do next? We're gonna start with a three quarter inch plate. Then we'll move on to the one inch and one and a quarter inch plates and one and a half inches. And the real challenge is to be able to cut between two and three inches. What is the ideal maximum thickness for the 20,000 watt machine using oxygen? It's 40 millimeters or one and a half inches. Today's challenge is with three inches to see how far this machine can cut and especially to see if it can split the three inch plate in two, which we can see over there looking like a cake. So let's get started. In this case, for three quarters, we're going to use a 1.5 nozzle. All right? 1.5 nozzle. With a slightly larger diameter. Larger, okay. All right, let's do it. The first thing we're going to do is calibrate the capacitance. We do this directly from the software. First thickness, three quarters, which is about 20 millimeters. Check, done. Let's move on to the next thickness. Now it's time for one inch. Just a reminder, here on our table, we have black steel thicknesses of three quarters, one inch, one and a quarter inches, one and a half inches, two inches, and three inches. Let's see what this 20,000 watt machine can do with two inch and in three inch thicknesses. That was spectacular, Jonathan, with one inch right. Yep, almost smooth. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is a quarter inch. Right. Is a quarter inch. A quarter inch. Let's move to the next challenge. Now, he's setting the parameters again. And let's see how the one and a quarter inch cut turns out with the Hercules, 20,000 watts. Wow, one and a quarter inches, which is equivalent to 30. 31. 31 millimeters. Perfect. 31 millimeters, one and a quarter inches. It turned out well. In theory, there shouldn't be any problems with this cut using oxygen and 20,000 watts of Hercules power. So now let's go to one and a half inches, which is equivalent to. How much is that, Jonathan? 38 millimeters. 38 millimeters. Let's do it. We've achieved a spectacular finish, almost smooth, just the result we were hoping for. Here's where the real challenge begins, two inches. Well, we already tried it once with the 6K scanner. So let's see how we do with the two inch one and then with the three inch one. Well, wow. 
It's not recommended, and it's not certified for this thickness, but it cut. Jonathan, what do you think? No, honestly, I'm surprised too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously, the finish isn't what we would expect, but it managed to cut. Of course, it's not recommended to cut very small pieces. You really need a more powerful machine to cut properly and get a smoother cut. But as a challenge, we did it. We did it, yes, that's right. And now it's time. 20,000 watts of raw laser power versus three inches of solid black steel. Hit play. It's not recommended. Obviously, this is just an experiment. We already saw that. The cut comes out really bad, but what do you think? Did you expect to cut three inches with this power? Honestly, yes, with 20,000 watts, you would expect it to cut, but obviously we didn't have the highest expectations because it's a really, really, really thick piece, so it could cause damage. This machine has graphite on the sides, and obviously the graphite can handle it. Cool. But if this goes outside the graphite in the collector band, it's gonna get totally damaged. So that's why it's not recommended to cut. What do you see here? What impressed you, Mom? How the black steel bursts from the heat, the oxygen, and the laser. Seen this before? No. Nope. In experience? No. Well, so we've seen it now. Obviously, this isn't recommended. It's not regulated. It's part of the experiment and the challenges we do here at Forza Laser. We were able to cut three inches with 20,000 watts and with oxygen to make a hot cut. Challenge accomplished, and we hope in the future to have another challenge with this 20,000 watt machine using other assist gases, and also with higher wattage from other machines. That's right, Forza Laser is always innovating, and we're constantly evolving and growing with much bigger machines. So very soon, we'll definitely have more surprises 